If I want to read the state of a push button like this one using my uh, digital input pin, in this case pin number 7, then I need to have some kind of a circuit that will control what voltage pin number 7 sees. I've got a ground connection that's always at 0 volts and a supply voltage that's always at about plus 5 volts and pin 7 can tell the difference between 5 volts and 0 volts. So I'd like pin 7 to be either 5 volts or 0 volts depending on what I've done with the push button. Well, to get that to happen, I could connect one side of the push button to ground and connect the other side of the push button to pin number 7. And then if I push the button, every time I push the button, pin 7 would be connected to ground and I'd be at 0 volts on pin 7, so I could be sure that pin 7 was at 0 volts. And that would work okay, except that when I wasn't pushing the button, I don't know what voltage I'll have on pin number 7. I'd like it to be 5 volts when I'm not pushing the button. So I need to somehow connect it to the 5 volt source here. And it has to go to 0 volts when I push the button, so there has to be a resistance in between. This is called a pull-up resistor between the 5 volts and pin 7. So if the push button is open, pin 7 will definitely be at 5 volts because eventually enough current will flow through to bring this up to a 5 volt potential. If I close the push button so that current is flowing across here, the resistance here is some resistance and the resistance over here is essentially pretty close to 0 ohms. So the result is that this will be very close to 0 volts and I'll read a 0 on my push button. So this use of a pull-up resistor lets us be sure what we're seeing on pin 7. This push button is plugged into the breadboard so that the contacts on each of the four corners are going into different rows. If I set my multimeter on continuity, then it'll beep whenever the leads are touched together. So, if I plug this lead into that pin, and this lead into that pin, I get continuity, because those two pins are attached to each other all the time. If I plug that lead into that pin, and this lead into this pin, I only get continuity when I press the button. I'm going to connect this pin to ground, and I'm going to connect this pin to plus 5 volts through a resistor. And what I should see now is when I make a measurement on the 20 volt DC scale between ground and the state of the push button, I've got 5 volts now. When I push the button, I go down to almost 0 volts. I release the button, I go back up to 5 volts. If I want to read the state of that button on pin number 7 on the Arduino, then I'll need to plug this lead into pin number 7 and also connect it over here to this side of the push button. And now when I press that button, pin number 7 will be grounded. When I release the button, pin number 7 will have 5 volts on it. When we read that pin with the statement digital read from pin 7, I will be equal to 0 if the button is pushed, making that contact there to ground, or I will be equal to 1 for not pushing the button, i.e. we'll get 5 volts if the button isn't pushed because it's connected through this pull-up resistor to the supply voltage.